This is BBC World News Today with me, Tim Wilcox. Burying the hatchet after four years of feuding, rival Palestinian factions Hamas and Fatah sign a reconciliation deal, but how much has really been agreed? Our real battle is with the Israeli occupiers, not with our brothers in the same homeland. Two days after Osama bin Laden was shot dead in this compound, the White House decides not to publish photographs of his body. Going for the alternative, Britain prepares to hold a referendum on how it elects members of Parliament. And what can Palestinian film tell us about the Arab uprising and the role of women in Middle Eastern society today? Hello and welcome. They said they were turning the black page of division forever. The rival Palestinian factions Fatah and Hamas publicly burying the hatchet today after four years of feuding with a formal reconciliation pact. The agreement, which saw the first meeting between Fatah party leader Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas's Khaled Mishal since 2007, should lead to a unity government and the holding of fresh elections in a year. Well, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the accord was a tremendous blow to peace and a great victory for terrorism. Jonathan Head reports. This is a deal on which the hopes of millions of Palestinians now hang. Their two rival leaders haven't met for years. There's real hatred between their movements. But now they've agreed that they must bury the hatchet. We are 